Buck Rogers in the 25th century. Buck Rogers is on the air. Brought to you by the makers of Popsicle, Fudgicle, and Creamsicle. Those delicious frozen confections on a stick. And now a message from the famous winner of the Typical American Boy Contest, Popsicle Pete. Hello, fellas and girls. You know what our gang did? We all saved bags from Popsicle, Fudgicle, and Creamsicle and got a whole baseball outfit for the team. Balls, gloves, and everything. Boy, they're swell. Now get Mom and Dad and everybody to help you save bags from genuine Popsicle, Creamsicle, and Fudgicle. And get your choice of hundreds of marvelous gifts. Get a wristwatch, a camera, table tennis, a wallet, lots of things. Bags are easy to save because they come on such swell-tasting confections. Great big, pure, popsicle, fudgicle, and creamsicle, each on a handy stick. What a value for a nickel. So big and so delicious. I'll say. And made by the finest ice cream makers from choice, healthful, strictly fresh ingredients. Say, kids, get a gift list free from your ice cream store and save it. It's got a coupon on it worth ten bags. Now, do you remember our last episode? Well, Buck and Wilma finally got on the trail of Black Barney's rocket ship. And we learned that Killer Kane and Ardela, with Barney as their prisoner, have landed at the ruins of ancient Philadelphia, where they're going to set up a new headquarters. Well, let's join them there and see how things are working out. Okay? Then here we go, 500 years into the future. Well, Kane, what do we do now? We make a little trip underground to establish a base of operations, Adela, in what was formerly the headquarters of Professor Smith, the mad scientist. They're uh, going to use uh, Smithy's old place, huh? That's what I said. Come on. Okay. And handle that psychic restriction ray with care. Okay. Yeah, but where are we going? I don't see anything around here that looks like it might be Smith's old headquarters. There, yeah, right in front of you. You see that hole in the ground? Yeah. With an old set of concrete stairs running down into it? Well... Uh, way back in the 20th and 21st centuries, there was a network of subway lines running all along under the whole city. And that was before the Mongol invasion destroyed most of the principal American cities. But what under the sun are subway lines? Ever see pictures of railroad trains in your history books? Sure. Well, the subways were railroads that ran entirely underground. Yeah. Diverted a lot of traffic from the already congested streets on the surface and all that sort of thing. Yeah, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> Say, maybe the people who lived in those times weren't so dumb after all. No. But if our friend Rogers weren't so dumb, he'd have stayed in the 20th century where he belonged. Kane, you know just as well as me that Captain Rogers didn't come to the 25th century on purpose. He got caught in a... Yeah, a mine accident, and a lot of gas come out of it, and he was held in suspender animation and uh, and all that sort of stuff. Forget uh, it, Barney. The point is that when Smith came here, he found an ancient subway station located down near the edge of the Delaware River here that was good enough to make it to a headquarters. Now, you ought to remember that, Barney. You worked with Smith at one time. Yeah, that was before I knowed any better. Smitty had it all fixed up with lights and a power planet and and, and, and and all that sort of stuff and things. And that's why we're lucky in having everything ready for us to settle down here. Yes, but I still think if Buck and Wilma get anywhere near here, they'll pick this as a logical place to look for But us. even if they do, they'll never find us. Come along now, down the stairway. Listen, I, I don't want to go down there. Barney! Do I have to keep a rocket pistol trained on you to make you do as I say? Well, you, you, you can't make me work for you anyhow. Quiet. Now pick up that psychic restriction ray and come along. Okay. Okay. Right down these steps? Right. Now, what used to be Smith's office is at the end of a corridor at the bottom. Oh, here's the corridor, all right. Hey, how about some light down here? You can't see very well. Wait a second, and I'll see if the lighting system's still in order. Now... Oh. That's better. Much. Say, there's quite an establishment down here, isn't there? Everything you could want for comfort and convenience. Now, this on the right was his office. Uh, quarters are down the corridor on the left. Wait a minute, Kane. Why, yes. That little waterfall down at the end of this room. Hey, I wonder how that got there. Well, I can tell you. Well? Well, uh, back in the old days when I was a sort of foolish and... 
Thought I was an air pirate. You'd be uh, better off if you were still an air pirate, Bonnie. No, sir, King, and nothing you will ever all say right, will ever make me believe right. it. All right, go I'm... on with your story. Yeah. Well, one time, uh, me and Louie was down here giving Smitty a hand. Who's Louie? Oh, yeah. Louie, he was sort of my right-hand man and all that sort of stuff. Go on. Well... Louie didn't like Smitty, and Smitty knowed it, so he kept treating Louie worse and worse uh, until one day Louie got mad and cut loose with an atomic bomb and blew the place up. Blew the place up? Well, it didn't exactly do very much damage, and account of it wasn't set very good, but it, it, it let through some of the water from the Delaware River, and, uh, and that's what makes a fall. Hmm. And the door to Smith's old laboratory ought to be right behind that waterfall. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Unless somebody's changed it. Somebody's changed it? Who's changed it? Well, somebody or, uh, uh, that is, uh, I mean, well, maybe somebody come along. You don't know and, what you mean. Me... Adela. Yes? We've got to find well... out if the door to the laboratory is in back of that waterfall. Well... Well, how'd you like to hop through it and see while I keep an eye on Black Bonnie here? Oh, and get soaking wet? Not much, Kane. If you want to find out what's on the other side of the waterfall, you can do it yourself. Or make Bonnie do it. Hey, now, listen. And take a I... chance on there being some way for him to beat it on the other side? Okay, then it's up to you. See why that laboratory should be of such importance to you anyway. Adela, if the water hasn't flooded that laboratory... We'll find electrical and scientific instruments that that'll mean everything to us. If it isn't flooded. That's exactly what we're going to find out now. What you're going to find out. Go ahead. No. Wait a minute. The force ray. Give me one of those non-recoil energy projectors. Sure. Here. What are you going to do with it? Use it to push the water aside and keep from getting wet. Oh. Sorry. Sorry? Yeah. I thought we were going to have the pleasure of watching you take a soaking. Never mind that. Just be sure you keep Barney here covered with your rocket pistol. Now, here. Hey, that's pretty good, Kane. Even if it is you. It's the laboratory, all right, Adela. And it's in perfect condition. Good. I'll hold back the water with this horse spray while you and Barney go in. And then you can do the same for me with yours. Right. Come on, Barney. Okay. Be sure you don't let that ray machine get wet. All right, all right. That's it. Now put the psychic restriction ray down inside the door here. Well, now, uh, how about... Set it down, I said. But listen to me. Hey, Kane! Hey, see? What's the hurry, Adela? Take it easy, will you? All right, come ahead. Right. Well, this is better get all the way inside the laboratory so we can close this door. That's it. <laughs> and this, my friends, is our new headquarters. Mm, not bad, Kane. Not bad. Not bad? It's perfect. I look at these scientific instruments. Smith may have been a bit balmy, but he certainly left us some priceless equipment here. And with that waterfall covering up the door, nobody in the whole wide world would ever discover us here. No. Why shouldn't somebody else look behind the falls for the door to this place? Because nobody else knows this place is here. I hope you're right. I know I am. Come on, let's get to work. Now, the first thing we've got to do is to put Barney under the psychic restriction ray. Huh? Plug it into that power outlet, will you? Sure. Uh, listen, Kane, is all you think about the psychic restriction ray? I'm not going under it, see? You haven't any choice in the matter, Barney, unless you decide to work along with us voluntarily. How about it? No, sir. No, sir. I don't know what voluntarily means, and but I won't do it. That's final? Yes, sir, and nothing you can say will make any difference. And the ray it is. Let me have that force ray, Adela. Here you are. Uh, uh, Kane. Get down on the floor under uh, the uh, ray projector, Bonnie. No, sir, Kane. Uh, you, you can't make me... Down. Uh, you don't. Hey! Hey! They take that force ray off of me. The way it was a big idea, Kane. Flat on your back, Bonnie. Uh, and right under the projector lens. Take it off me, I tell you. Uh, you're pushing me right through the floor. If you don't stop bellowing, I will push you through the floor. Uh, all right, all right. All right, I'll stay. I'll lay still. I'll stay with you. All right. Uh, now, Bonnie, I warn you. 
If you try to get out of range of the psychic restriction ray, I'll drive so much energy at you that you'll never get up again. Adela. Yes? Turn on the ray. Right. How's that? Perfect. No, Sir Kane. It ain't perfect. And if you got any sense, you'll, you'll turn it off again. Do you hear me, Kane? Turn it off! This thing won't have no effect on me anyhow. Quiet, Bonnie. Now, you'll find it much easier if you don't try to make so much noise. But, but, but the light from it, it, it hurts my eyes. You're crazy. Well, I, I don't like it anyhow. It's a take it away. And anyhow, if you think this or anything else is going to make me work for you, why, you're, you're out of my mind. You understand? You're... you're, you're... This again. <laughs> you know, it's funny. This thing ain't so bad after all, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of think I, I like it. It's, yeah. it's working, Adela. Good. And from now on, Barney is ours. Yeah, the reggae. It's so nice and pretty and beautiful and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Let the brave Captain Rogers try to upset our plans now. Rogers. <laughs> Central Radio Bureau, Davidson speaking. Listen, Dave, this is Buck Rogers. Oh, hello, Captain. Contact Dr. Hewer again for me. Tell him we're still on Black Barney's rocket trail and following it with a gas analyzer. Good, but there's we a... We found that it leads almost directly southeast of Niagara in a straight line. I see, but now... In other words, that... toward the ruins of ancient Philadelphia, which would make an ideal headquarters for a person like Killer Kane. But, Captain, Now, I... as I told you before, Dave, the more I think of it, the more I feel he's somehow connected with the disappearance of Barney. Now, will you get all that to Dr. Hewer just as quickly as possible? But, Captain... Yeah? I've been trying to tell you, Dr. Hewer called here just a few minutes ago and he left a message for you. Oh, yeah? What'd he say? He wants you and Lieutenant Wilmer to return to Niagara immediately... What? ...and meet him at his laboratory. But we can't. We're hot on this trail for the first time. We can't leave it now. Well, I'm sorry, Captain, but he made it plain that no matter where you were or what you might be doing, he wants you in his laboratory before you go any further. Hmm. Well, if he wants us to leave a hot trail, it must be important. Judging by the way he spoke, it's doggone important. Okay, Dave. Tell him we're on our way back. So, Kane and Ardella have poor old Black Barney under the influence of the psychic restriction ray. The instrument that completely subjugates him to their wills. It'll make him not only willing, but glad to work with them. But I wonder what Dr. Hewer has up his sleeve. Just imagine waking up in the morning and finding a package waiting for you. You open it up, and boy, there's a real wristwatch or a doll, or fishing tackle, or roller skates, or maybe even a movie camera. Now, all you have to do is save bags from Popsicle, Fudgicle, or Creamsicle, and you get all those presents free. Hundreds of them to choose from. It's fun saving bags from Popsicle, Fudgicle, or Creamsicle. They taste so good, and they're so big for a nickel. I'm having a Fudgicle right now, kids. A Fudgicle, real creamy chocolate fudge frozen on a stick. Is that delicious? Be sure the name Fudgicle is printed on the bag. It's the United States registered trademark. And save those bags, kids. You get swell presents for them. 